Hey, John here again. Uh, today I wanted to cover another home project, but uh, screen installation. Everybody's done that. If you ever had a home, probably you know a dozen times. At least I have. Uh, the reason why is because if you have any pets, you know they just well, I guess a goldfish doesn't qualify. But if you have pets with like claws, they get into screens. And uh, I'll show you like this screen over here. I think it's that nylon stuff. It's not actually aluminum or nothing, but you know hey let me in you know they just destroy it so what i wanted to do I, I was at home depot you know yet getting other screens as i'm working on the house here you know painting or whatever um i found this stuff uh that says pet friendly <laughs> so i'm like ah, let me try that where's the there's the pet oh pet resistance um you know so it was in this package and i'm like all right it's black here's a couple things about it First of all, it's like a, you know, fucking Indian blanket. I mean, it's really thick stuff. But um, I wanted to go over this because I don't think there's anything on YouTube, or at least I didn't look, but uh, I think this stuff's fairly new. So I installed one. It came out good. It's nice and tight. There's a few things I don't like about it. Um, a, from the inside looking out, it looks like it's nighttime all the time. It is very dark, but, but uh, as far as pet, resistance i don't know how that's going to pan out um i might actually try to break that screen just to see how tough it is but i did want to go over like installing this stuff first of all i made a mistake of painting these doors and you know now the the tool you know if you got a screen tool here it no longer fits in the <laughs> in the groove um it does you gotta jam it in there and it's just you know it's, it's problematic i mean you know first of all the typical screen groove like like you can see here this this has popped out a little bit you know it works pretty good you just force it in there so you know just you know i don't know if you can see that but it's definitely going back in you know so for nylon nylon screen it works you know screen tool works great but doing this one a few mistakes i made try to use the original spline which uh this stuff here the original spline is I didn't know the the you know the the thickness of it, but I had to go back and get um, the thickness on this new stuff was the smallest I could find one point uh, one two five. Uh, I don't know how many. I think there's like four or five different sizes, but the original one there's no way that it was going into that. I had so many problems and didn't rip the screen or anything, but I couldn't get it in. Uh, reason being because a the paint b this stuff is so thick that you know even the smallest spline I can find was you know it goes in tight but I can no longer use my tool so I use this is an old brass screwdriver but it's got pretty dull tip and what I found pretty good success is you know getting it started and just keep jamming it along so far I mean it's it's worked out I, I mean I had to do that one and it, that one came out so if you got to put this stuff in you know a get the smallest spline and uh, you know I don't know if a screen tool will actually work for you but you know this stuff is working out just poking it in it's uh, it's pretty resilient stuff so that being said only time will tell as far as a dog you know whether it rips it or not but that being said, I, uh, I'll i probably, well, I want to do a couple of tests. I mean, unless your, you know, dog has, like, Freddy Krueger claws or something, I think the stuff's going to work out because I was playing with it, and I'll show you in a second here. Hold on. All right, so the first thing I was, uh, I noticed is, look at this stuff. I mean, I tried to tear it. It's impossible, you know, by the naked, you know, just trying to rip it I mean regular screen you can zzz, no problem this stuff is impossible to rip so you know I was like what the hell is this shit made out of but if you know I cut this with a, a razor so if you could see here I don't know if you could see like up close this white stuff it reminds me of uh, see how it's got a little fiber to it of like uh, J, um, like cat5 uh, wire or networking wire where you know you have you rip the insulation back and you've got all the little wires but you there's also like a strand of this stuff 
for like pulling through conduits or walls or whatever that you know I mean this stuff is like I mean I'm really trying to rip this it didn't even rip but it just came out through the the plastic coating like you cannot break this stuff so that's all there is to that I mean it's just strands and I'm assuming all these you know strands are whatever however they do it paint it I mean not paint it but uh, you know get the rubberized stuff on there you cannot rip this stuff so there's that so I want to do a little experiment because you know um, I'm going to replace this railing anyway, so I'm going to staple this to here and try to, um, you know, like take take a, uh, a dog's claw or whatever you have <laughs> and try to puncture this, try, to, try literally try to destroy this. So there goes nothing. First of all, let me see if I can pull through them staples. Well, let me try to... Like it poke through. Look at it bend in a fork. It poked through, but I'm 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 literally trying to rip this stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm forcing this big time. There ain't no way a dog's gonna be, you know. They're just, I can't even. I mean, you could poke it through, no problem. But trying to rip that is impossible. I mean, I can see the white fiber, but there ain't no way a dog. <laughs> there ain't no way. Oh, oh. There ain't no way that uh, a dog is going to rip that. Only time will tell. But so I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm literally trying to to damage this thing. A razor knife, psh, no problem. Cuts right through. Uh, but dog claws, there ain't no way. And I'm assuming, since this is black, I and mean, it's like a matte black, even if it does, you know, somehow show that white stuff, I wouldn't see any reason why you couldn't take, like, a fat black magic marker and just touch up the screen, you know, like where it's, um, where it's white here. You know what I'm saying? Where, where it's stressed. It's not even stressed, but you see on the sides here, why wouldn't you be able just to... Let me go get a magic marker. Let me try that. Alright, so let's see if... Uh, get you a little closer. If um, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but here's a, a white mark from, you know, where I... Let me see if I can make some more. can't even really make them. There's some. Alright, so here's a white mark here. Yeah, that just covers right up. Look at that. It's just magic marker, you know, permanent magic marker. So, even if you had like Cujo as a pet, I don't think you can get through this screen. And then if it does, you know, mar up, look at that, magic marker just makes it go away. So, I mean, I'm saying this stuff's indestructible. It's just pet friendly. I'm saying pet, you know, <laughs> foolproof. But only time will tell. Again, there are some pros and cons like everything one of the cons are you know you're gonna have to work a little harder getting the screen in um, but it's obviously doable I mean did it with that one and the other con is when you uh, try to look out you know it's a little bit dark um, but that being said it is a screen so if it's gonna keep a pet dog claw out i'm sure flies and mosquitoes got no chance on that but anyway that's all i got i just wanted to go over uh you know not really screen installation but this this stuff i found at homer depot's place uh we'll see how it works out and then i won't have to replace screens every year i mean look look i'll show you what i'm talking about here watch this this is just regular screen look at that i mean i couldn't there's no way i could rip that screen i tried it with a fork so that being said, and aluminum's where this is that, um, uh, you know, I, I guess they call it vinyl, but aluminum screen, you know, how it dents and, uh, you know, just looks ugly and you can't really repair it as, you know, there's no way. You just have to replace it. This is cheap enough, but it is a pain in the ass to do screen work. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, it's not fun. It's tedious. So, hopefully this will be the last time I replace that screen and see what happens. But 
That's all I got for now. Later. Okay, so I had one more thought before I sign off. Um, because this stuff is so resilient, you can stretch this as tight as you want. This, this door took me like basically a better part of an hour because I was being all tentative and, you know, not trying to rip the screen. But then once I did that screen test, you know, I can't even rake it with a fork. This thing was about 20 minutes. I was just jamming the shit in there and it worked out real good. It's tight. You could pull it as tight as you want, you know, because uh, it ain't going to rip, trust me. So there's that. And it's just going to touch up the, the red there. I just figured I'd include that. Don't be afraid to stretch it out or whatever you got to do because even though that tool didn't fit inside, you know, the groove here, I was just jamming it with uh, with that screwdriver. And, and uh, a couple of times it did slip, not, not through here, but, you know, I was worried about that over here, but because I did that, you know, fork test, <laughs> I mean, you could do whatever you want with this stuff, really. I mean, I don't know how this is looking on video as far as, this is all black, but I do see, uh, you know, I don't know how that's going to look on video. It looks like, I don't know, diff different colors, but it is all black once you get up close to it. It's just the way it, it's raised up. I mean, uh, maybe a little contrast. I don't know if you go inside and look out. It's, it's decent. I mean, again, the only reason I got it is to keep, keep the dogs from tearing that shit up. Anyways, that's all I got for now.